Welcome to the What is an Essential Question Digital PD module. In this segment of the module, we will be addressing the basic components of an essential question. The focus of this module will be on how is the essential question essential in promoting student thinking. In asking what is an essential question, we begin to think about addressing big ideas in history. Essential questions promote student learning in a number of ways. Using essential questions lets students know that questioning is an important part of learning. In Understanding by Design, McTeague and Wiggins refer to an essential question as being the doorway to understanding and explain how essential questions are questions that become the framework for a lesson. Essential questions are open-ended and typically will not have a single, final, or correct answer. They are thought-provoking, often sparking discussion and debate. They require higher-order thinking such as analysis, evaluation, and prediction. It cannot be effectively answered by recall alone. Essential questions point toward big transferable ideas. They raise additional questions and spark further inquiry. They require justification, not just an answer. Lastly, essential questions recur over time. The question can and should be revisited again and again throughout the module. The Essential Curriculum, as found on the WCPS portal, provides you with multiple essential questions that can be utilized for each particular module. The essential questions are intended to be open-ended and may be utilized as questions that can reoccur over time and be addressed in future modules. Essential questions can and should be an integral part of learning plans and in providing overarching ideas that can facilitate classroom discussions. Essential questions do not have a single right or wrong answer. They are intended to have more than one answer and provide for many possible student responses. Essential questions are beneficial in opening dialogue with students at the outset of a module and in which discussions can lead to more questions. In order to facilitate and assess student learning, essential questions may be revisited throughout the module. In doing so, the essential question becomes a powerful classroom tool when students become active participants in the historical inquiry process and see that there is more than just a single response to a question, but rather multiple responses to a single question. Essential questions may be specific and topical, and they can be broad and overarching, meaning they are questions that can take students towards more general, transferable understandings, helping to make connections between past and present. Students often do not see these connections. Essential questions provide opportunities for students to delve into the past and connect to the present. Essential questions are not tied specifically to a given time period or place. For example, in the World History Cornerstone task found in Module 2A, students are asked to compare the causes and effects of the French Revolution with the causes and effects of a current 21st century or modern political revolution. This aligns itself with a transfer skill in which students will be able to independently use their learning to apply the relevance of historical lessons to a given situation, problem, or challenge. Any of the four essential questions for Module 2A can facilitate student learning as they provide students with a framework to make connections from the past to the present and for students to generate multiple responses to the cornerstone task.